We welcome you into the Pioneers Weekly Recap. Once again, I'm Brian Staten, and it was a good week for Tusculum University this past weekend. It was also homecoming week, but for the Pioneers, they finished 4, 1, and 2 overall, and it got underway early as far as the games that count as records. But we'll take a look and see what happened this week in Tusculum Women's Soccer. They took on Shaw, a game that Shaw was looking for just because, well, they had had all their games canceled. They had also come in as the highest scoring offense in Division II, but the Tusculum women were able to uh, get the victory by a final score of two to nothing, getting the shutout against Shaw. That happened on Tuesday of this past week. Women's golf also finished ninth out of the 18 teams at the Patsy Rendleman Invitational also on that Tuesday. For women's soccer, impressive because then they would go on later in the week and take on Anderson. Needed a result there, got a result, got a point as they would get a tie 1-1 in double overtime. For the women's soccer team now, 6-4-3 on the year, 3-2-2 two, and two in league action as again on Tuesday against Shaw, they would pepper the net. Uh, with a bunch of shots and uh, really the two goals, not indicative of how that game obviously went. For the men's side of things this week in overtime, it was a game between the, well, at least two of the top teams in the South Atlantic Conference. The LR Bears had definitely put themselves on top of the table with the 15 league points to that point of the season that pa this past Wednesday. The Tusculum Pioneers were somewhat still feeling themselves out. They had definitely... Uh, won three consecutive Rush. games coming into this contest, in. but Sock they have plenty of opportunities as well to be much better this season with the last second losses that they have suffered, Saw obviously. Well, in this game against the uh, LR not, Bears, not a whole lot of offense really by either side long either. Range attempts, uh, did get some uh, long yeah. range attempts, did get some uh, close range attempts, and both both goalkeepers post. were very good Dangerous on the day. As a matter of fact, Kareem, who had been a two-time defensive conference play of the week and longer, also a defensive com a, off a conference and defensive swinger. player of the week during and the season, uh, showed why they were so the good in between the pipes. Uh, but on this right particular day, it would be Marcus somewhat of a mistake by Longer, which you just the seen there, where he was coming out to challenge Giorgio's Harkisakis for a ball that was the right at the uh, top of the box. And that allowed uh, Mr. Devins to put that in. That would be the equalizer the in the contest. Caridi was gonna be asked to come up with another big save, which he did come up with. The game would eventually go into an extra session, an extra period, and overtime. And the Pioneers were able to come out on top, and we'll talk about that. We'll actually show that to you here in a moment. But in this game, it was that opportunity for Tusculum to, to the I guess, Foster, feel the fruits of their it? labor. As Sean Foster, Foster gets his fourth career goal, his, his second career game win, LR but his Bears. first game ender for Ubich his career it as it the senior it. on a ball. Nice job by Ubis to uh, play that, Ubich to play that ball across for the uh, Pioneers in the overtime. Two minutes and five seconds in, Pioneers were able to get that victory. Talk about the fruits of their labor. They would move into a, a, second, a second place with 12 points in the South Atlantic Conference. Later in the week, they would get a draw against Anderson, who had come through with a big win against Wingate earlier in the week, three to one. So that result against Anderson on the road, very good result for this Pioneer soccer team as they would go 1-0-1 on the week. Now, also on Friday cross country, the men participated at the Royals Cross Country Challenge, finished 14th, the women finished 32nd, and volleyball, picks up the win against Catawba in a five-set thriller. They finally ended that long losing skid as they win at 3-2. On Saturday, though, they would take on the Queens Royals and fall 3 to nothing. And the football team in homecoming. Talked a lot about needing to, uh, I think, build some momentum down the final stretch of the season this year for the football team. And homecoming 2018 against Newberry, a, the best defense in the league as far as the numbers were concerned. 16.8 points per game was best in our league, one of the best in the nation. They didn't allow teams to run the football very much. Matter of fact, they just didn't allow a whole lot of yardage on defense uh, on the season. Their offense was extremely dangerous with uh, Greg Ruff. Uh, Dre Harris in at quarterback, and we saw Nick Jones as well, three quarterbacks on the day. This day for the Pioneers, Tommy Pistoni got the start, but it would be Alex Ogle who would come in. Last year in this contest against Newberry, he would rally the troops down 14-3 to at Newberry, and the Pioneers win in double overtime, going for two on the uh, Connor Johnston two-point conversion. Maxwell Joseph went for over 100 yards rushing in the game. On this day, it would be set up 
by Jordan Shippey, as Jordan Shippey would finish the day with 78 yards running. 58 of that picked up on one particular play. Will Boney for the Pioneers has three touches this year. He has two touchdowns. You could say that every time he touches the ball, the good things are going to happen for Tusculum University this year. For homecoming as well, think about the ramifications around that. You've got all the board of trustees that are in, all the alumni that are in. You want to have a good showing. The Pioneers, Jordan Shippey, put on a pretty good show here, backed up deep in our own territory and the Pioneers got the show that they needed on this particular drive, leading it seven to nothing. They would go on on this drive. And thanks to Aaron Fudge, a young freshman who had to come in for the injured Tory Ponder, hadn't had a whole lot of action since the uh, shorter game. Here on third down and nine, comes up with a 15-yard run. Newberry had only allowed 10 third down conversions over the last month of the season, 10 of 57. And Aaron Fudge gets the jet sweep, set up Connor Johnston for the uh, insurance touchdown in the game. Pioneers would not need any more than just a safety in this game to win, but they got the uh, 14 points. Jake Moss comes up with a big reception. He had another big reception earlier on the uh, drive by Deshaun Davis. They were able to get some uh, big yardage, move the chains. You're going to see a, a turnover in this game as well. Uh, the Pioneers turned it over late. Pioneers David Johnson would get the turnover for the Pioneers. As Tusculum football now improves their record to 4-2 and two on the year, 3-1 and one in the league. Men's soccer goes to 6-5-1, and 4-2-1 and one now in the league as uh, men's and women's tennis also participated in the Grizzly Open over the weekend to some, uh, against some very good competition and had a very good day as well. So let's see what's going on this week as you continue to watch some of the highlights. This week for uh, Tusculum University Athletics, men's and women's soccer will be on the road. We'll pick it up midweek as they'll travel to Lincoln Memorial in Harrogate, Tennessee for a key South Atlantic Conference showdown. The women's team will kick off at 1 o'clock, the men at 3.30. On Friday, volleyball begins a nice little home stretch. They'll take on Anderson, a very tough team, obviously, tournament champions from a year ago. They uh, will play at 7 o'clock at Pioneer Arena. Cross country will travel to Newton, North Carolina for the Lenore Ryan Classic. On Saturday, it's a home festival and senior day as well for soccer as men's and women's soccer will host Mars Hill 2 and 4.30 from Pioneer Field. And once again, senior day at Tusculum for soccer. Volleyball is in action. They will host Newberry on Saturday at 2 o'clock and the football team travels to Catawba. They'll take on the Catawba Indians in Salisbury, North Carolina, and that will be a 1.30 kickoff time on Saturday. As always, you can follow the Pioneers through or online at TusculumPioneers.com. Get the latest updates and stories through social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. That's a look at our Pioneers Weekly Recap. We're back next week as we'll recap all of the action from Tusculum University Athletics. Until then, Brian Staten, Go Pioneers!